So what a moment for this uprising side, the sponsors of the tournament, and they're ready to take their place. Setefano Dakao will lead the uh, Digicel Fiji Barbarians in this fourth and last cup quarterfinal. The cow. The uprising side showing respect for the uh, Fiji Barbarians. They let the Barbarians run out first, and now the uprising team comes out. Uprising, three victories from uh, three games yesterday. The Fiji Barbarians stumbled in pool play when they lost to police. This is knockout rugby at its best. We've watched earlier Red Rock, the defending champions, bundled out of the uh, championship. So far, the first semi-final, Police Warriors and Wardens will play the winner of this one. James Bollambu is the referee of this game. So uprising ready to start. Sikonaya Kalo uh, in the air, the tickle from uprising, so they make the early mistake. Dale Tonawai. Talembula finds Kolinisao. The cow. The pass for Talembula is good. Penalty for uh, the uh, Fiji Barbarians, Tickler not rolling away. And that's one area that referees need to police uh, very closely. Here's Tonawai, Kalo. And straight into the uprising uh, team. Looked like a forward pass, but it's uh, played on. Big tackle from Talembula. Shoulder charge, says the referee. That will be a yellow card for Metuisela. Talembula, shoulder charge. Strict referee Bolambiu. Avenisi Vasuim Numbu was the man who was tickled with that shoulder charge from Talembula. Kolinisao. Fiji Barbarians under pressure. Six players on the park for them. Uprising. One man outside. The angle run in field. They're playing with power. The pass out wide is good. And the slippery customer at the end of that was Lysiasa. Uprising, draw first blood. Uprising leads the Barbarians by five points to nil. The fairy tale run for the Uprising side continues. Three victories for them in pool play yesterday. In their pool, they were the underdogs, but they're certainly the top dogs here now. They've drawn first blood with the first try to Lysiasa. Conversion is hooked, remains at five points to nil. Good try from Lysiasa. Kolinisao. The Barbarians held uh, in the uprising side, applying a lot of pressure, but uh, the cow gets it out. Nasili Sili. The cow. Penalty for uh, the Barbarians. Uprising coming in from the side. Penalized by Bolambiu. He is the cow. Captain of the Barbarians. Setefano the cow. Nasili Sili. The cow. Nasili Sili. Colinisao 
shrugging off one tackle. Sekonaya Kalau, support of Dale Tonawai, runs into trouble. Ball lost through by the Fiji Barbarians and wonderful effort from uh, Uprising as Metuisela Talembola goes back on the park from uh, after serving two minutes in the sin bin. So Tonawai did well to get up there and probably should have uh, released the pass to Kolimisao when he uh, did the fake. So back to full strength, uh, the Barbarians. So Apakuki Tritavua. Ready to feed the scrum for uprising. Laisiasa, the try scorer, gets it away well to Nayada. It was uh, no, uh, Avenisi. Polinisao gets in there. Oh, he's won that turnover ball for the Barbarians. So good work by uh, Polinisao. And then Vakao pins his ears back. And he gets it in the corner. A captain strike. Setefano Vakao. Those 33 year old legs were pumping. And he gets the try in the corner. And the Barbarians lock it all up. Five points all. That was well turned over by Colin Isao, who worked hard on the ground. And then the cow with a clear run to the line. Though the cover defense tried to get back. It was Esala Nawai unsuccessful. Five points all. Barbarians working hard. Good captain's try from this 33-year-old from Nakavika village in Namosi. Talimbula. Trying to aid the extra points from the corner. The cow's try not converted. Five points all. The was scored by Setefano Lakao. Unsuccessful kick. Defense certainly Jibiro came across, but not able to stop Lakao. Talimbola. Sekonaya Kalao. Right on the money as far as his, as his job description is concerned. But the uh, Barbarians over the top. And they get penalized. This uprising now have the chance to... Uh, Strike play. Esala Nawai. Nayada level. Snuck the pass away. Uprising. Clever as they worked it in but held it in the tackle. And uh, the Barbarians have the penalty. And uh, here goes Sekanaya Kolo. So that looked a bit dangerous but the Barbarians have uh, the possession. Talembula. Penalty for uh, the Barbarians. And a yellow card. So Uprising will now play with six players. A quarter of a minute remaining in this first half. Out of the field, Lasaro in the sin bin, Kolinisao. Let's see what the Barbarians can do in the closing seconds. They're lost by Nemani Nangusa in the tackle. Uh, tried to uh, use his power against this uprising side and Nangusa should have done better. Five points all. That's how it will be as they go to the halftime break. A try apiece. Uprising scored the first try to Laisiasa and Fiji's reply in the form of uh, their captain, Setefano Dakao. Halftime score in this uh, last cup quarterfinal. Uprising 5, Fiji Barbarians 5.
So Rene Munch sending his instructions to uh, the uprising boys and they know discipline will play a big part if they want to beat the Fiji Barbarians. They've got a sniff of victory and I'm sure they will work hard. Seven minutes to go. Talimbula, uprising playing with six players. Second Ayakalao, right on the money. Nangusa, Nasili Sili, Kolini Sao, Kolini Sao saw the gap, gets the pass away, and the cow will go in for his second try. Setefano the cow. What a leader this man is. What a try he scored in the first half, and now a second. And if you remember his try against New Zealand in the final of the Gold Coast Sevens before he went out, those kind of things from this man. What a kickoff ball won by Sekonaya Kalau. Right on the money, doing his job correctly. And uh, Colin Isao opening up the uh, uprising defense and the rest left to his captain, Vakao, to uh, complete that finish. If anyone had any doubt on the cow's recovery, I'm sure his name certainly penciled in to lead the team to Wellington and Las Vegas. He's proved the point as Lazaro goes back on the park and while he was out, the barbarians have managed to take the lead. So uh, let's see how he'll get motivated uh, with that. Uprising. It was off uh, Kolinisao's uh, palm. The referee uh, has uh, penalized the uh, barbarians. Uprising. Tonawai probably was the main that. Uh, was penalized. Uprising. Laisiasa, the try scorer for Uprising in the first half. Ten points to five. Barbarians leading. Avenisi. Barbarians have the penalty. So mistakes made by uh, Uprising. And as uh, Rene Munch, the coach said, don't give away penalties, but they have been giving penalties away. Advantage here is Uprising got the uh, palm to it. Nangusa tries to uh, power his way through. Good work. Set up well for the uh, Barbarians. Out it comes. Here's Colin Isao. They've got numbers now in favor of the Barbarians. Dakao with a big pass. Forward pass to Tonawai. Intentions were good from Setefano Dakao. Channel the pass with a big float into this main Tonawai. Watch that, but uh, just the ball traveling forward as Tonawai was right there. So, uprising, live to fight, and let's see what they can do with three and a half minutes remaining. So, halfway through in the second spell. 
penalty for uprising. And they quickly uh, come away with it. Well, here's Naya, the level, the break, quality Sal, the fittest player in the Fiji side, catches up with him. Talen Bola, penalty for uprising. And Colin Isao will be sent to the sin bin. Osea Colin Isao is into the bin and the Barbarians will struggle. Is another big hit there from Talembula. Referee takes it back, says go back 10 Barbarians. The heat is on the Barbarians defense. Uprising. Uprising, cool the nerves. Here's the chance, and wonderful. Reaching out to get the try. Upper cookie, Tuitavua. And Tuitavua locks it all up, 10 points all. It's game on in this one. Uprising, not intimidated by the Fiji Barbarians and the big names. Upper cookie, Tuitavua with the try there's power in force used clear precision of mind in what he was trying to do beautiful uprising the underdogs uprising leading the barbarians is ignacio martin comes into the field of play the guest player from spain for uprising and his conversion attempt goes wide so less than two minutes to play Barbarians 10, Uprising 10, but Barbarians playing with six players. Sikunaya Kalau offloads for Nangusa. Samumbola is on to the park. Nangusa popped away from one tackle. Levi Ekanikonda. Couldn't link with uh, Samumbola, and the referee says no. Polar tackle from Uprising. Good work from Bolambu in uh, signalling what he saw. Levi Ekaniconda. Mbola. Talembola. Ekaniconda. Samumbola. Mbola taken and dumped heavily to the ground. Barbarians work hard. 10 points all inside the last minute and uh, knock on. But as that happens, Colin Isao goes back onto the park. So the Barbarians now to full strength and Colin Isao not needed. So Colin Isao is off the field of play. There's the knock on from Talembola. Just that wee bit lapse of concentration. Colin Isao off and Apisai Ndomolailai is onto the park for the Fiji Barbarians. 10 points all, all square. Half a minute remaining. Talembola is also off. Elias Nandao has gone in for the Barbarians. Uprising, that was well done. Good work. He is uh, uprising, looking for uh, Opportunities, big hit there from Nangusa. Ging tackled uh, that uprising player. Uprising, get it out. Uh, trying to test the defense. Oh, manages to get away. The pass is good in field. Uprising needs to take the right options. This could be the big upset. Oh, what a try! The try from Aparosa Torova and Uprising. Right on the death, Uprising have caused the biggest upset of the Uprising Fiji International 7th Rugby Festival. A famous victory for Uprising with the Huta to come in a while. What a run from Torova, the hero for the uh, Uprising side. They had a lot of hard work to do in Aparosa Torova. The winning try, the conversion is over.
17 points to 10. What a boil over. Uprising, Rene Munch coached Uprising have upset the Eddie Wanga coached Fiji Barbarians. The sponsors of the tournament, their team, their fairy tale run continues. Uprising is into the cup semi-finals. Wonderful victory. They've beaten the Fiji Barbarians in a tough tussle by 17 points to 10. Wonderful knockout rugby and good work by the uprising side. Rene, uprising, surprising everyone in this tournament? Uh, probably everyone but myself. I always knew the boys had it. Um, we've always come fit, but we've never come mentally prepared. This is probably the first tournament I've ever actually seen my boys serious. Um, I'm surprised in a way that it, it's a brand new team. We've played one tournament before this. I wish we had more match fitness. That's probably going to show in the next two games. I hope the boys can keep up the, the pace. Do you think, uh, as it was showed uh, in the uh, quarterfinal against uh, Fiji Barbers, the courage and determination pulling this uh, team uh, through? Oh, yes. Well, it was a big decision for me yesterday. Send out a weak team, lose to Red Rock and play police, which might have been an easier game. But we decided, go out, we're going to beat Red Rock and we're going to take on Fiji in the quarterfinal. And that's what we did. It, it still could have gone anyway. You know, the Fiji team, they're still a brilliant side. And uh, when two Fiji teams always play, it's always bounce of the ball. I think our boys were lucky and were a bit more determined today. All the best in the semi-final. Thank you. Well, that was wonderful. Rene Munch on cloud nine and his team have certainly done so well nayada level was the run on along the sideline on that far side and uh, it was just good communication good support play and aparosa toro da i'm sure he'll get uh, the uh, chair on the top table at uh, dinner at dinner time tonight whether uprising makes it any further or no but they're into the cup semi-finals the high fives the hugs they're so happy uprising know that they've uh, taken the scalp of the fiji barbarians wonderful reaction from the uh, uprising players they're into the cup semi-finals upsetting the fiji barbarians 17 10. <laughs>